Hello, and welcome to my new trip report. I just arrived on flight from Vancouver at New York Liberty International Airport. Today I will finally fly SAS Business Class. My flight will take me from New York to Oslo in 7 hours and 20 minutes. I tried to fly business class on SAS before, but that time SAS pilots were on strike and had to use thin air. I really don't like the style of this airport. But let's check out the SAS launch. A little bit hidden, but let's check out what they have on offer. This is not the biggest launch, but the style is the same as in the Scandinavian countries. Unfortunately, the food is not much better than in the Scandinavian countries. They offer bread, cold cuts, cheese and some salad. In addition, they offered a warm option which was mac and cheese, not the most healthiest option, but it was okay. And of course you get all the drinks that you want from soda, so beer, wine and coffee. The same furniture you might find in Oslo or Stockholm. But now let's head to the gates, I don't have too much time here. Today I'm departing from gate B63 and my flight will be on an Airbus A330-300 like you see outside there. Let's give you some information about my flight today. The boarding was a little bit chaotic. <clears throat> But finally, it was time for the business class passengers to board the plane. Welcome to 2A. The seat has the usual reading lights and the seat control. And this is me pressing all the buttons several times. I like buttons. In this small storage area, you find the headset, the amenity kit and the bottle of water a little bit hidden in the corner. Here you also have a USB charger, the plug for your headset and a power socket. And of course no business class flight without a welcome drink. And of course we get the security announcements. The noise cancelling headphones were okay, but I still prefer my own. Time to say goodbye to New York and head home to Oslo. Quite a queue of planes behind us.
and as always the view coming through the clouds is beautiful, especially when the sun is going down. Now I'm looking forward to test the SAS menu. But first we start with some cashew nuts and some champagne. Let's take a look at the in-flight entertainment system. Of course we have the mandatory in-flight map, just to know where we are. And then we have to check out what kind of movies there are. They had quite a lot of movies, 74 overall, that's uh, reasonable amount and I found something that I watched through the night. The Infant Entertainment System offered about 164 episodes of series that included a lot of SAS uh, commercial stuff like uh, information about destinations they fly to. And of course they have some games and some stuff for kids. I like that they have the inflight menu on the screen. A good choice of beverages and the champagne that I tasted in the beginning, everything included new business class tickets. For starters I chose a mixed salad with olive oil and balsamic vinaigrette and beef tenderloin carpaccio with yellow baby beets, purple radish and horseradish cream. All this was served with a selection of bread and butter. For the main course I chose a broiled chicken with lemon sauce, broccolini, roasted yukon potatoes and garlic confit and a glass of white wine. Cheese and dessert, I chose an ice cream, we were served at the same time. That was not the best choice of cheese I had in my life, but the chocolate was nice. And of course a glass of dessert wine. This is the whole menu with all the choices. And of course we had to take a look at the amenity kit. We got a toothbrush, some information from SAS, there is an eye mask in this set, a pair of socks and some earplugs which you might need while sleeping and some lip balm. All in all okay, nothing too fancy. After some hours going in and out of something you couldn't call sleep, I enjoyed the view out of the window waiting for my breakfast before we approached Oslo. Since I don't like warm breakfasts like omelettes and roasted tomato, I enjoyed the bread, the cheese, the ham, some fruit, yogurt and some granola. Very nice. Finally, we are on our final approach to Oslo, breaking through the clouds and looking at the Norwegian landscape. Okay. 
overall I enjoyed my flight with SAS today. This is not the best product there is, they could do something about the food, but the crew was friendly and uh, I had nothing really to complain about. I would have liked to check out the service and the product on their new A350 planes, but I didn't have the chance from New York to Oslo. Welcome home to Oslo Airport Gardermoen. Now it's time to catch my connecting flight north. Thank you for joining me on my flight today. I hope you enjoyed my flight report. If you haven't subscribed yet, this would be a good time to do so. And as always, you're welcome to leave a comment, like the video and hit the bell. Thanks for watching and see you on my next flight report. Until then remember, to travel is to live.